So I would like to also thank uh, the organizers uh, for making this meeting possible for hard work. And uh, I'm enjoying very much uh, the whole stay and the program is really very heavy so that uh, everything is working uh, like the right conference. And uh, it would be nice to continue. So, <coughs> Uh, so this is my long title, so I, I just move to, uh, uh, to what I will cover. There's a, a fourth part, the introduction, which will be kind of historical remarks also for uh, the graduate students here. Uh, then some example of levy process, then Eton-Nisio theorem for banner function spaces, which uh, generalizes classical Eton issue, and then a series expansion of very processes and, and studying of Eto map, Eto map or uh, the, the solution map for stochastic differential equations. Uh, so <coughs> uh, historically, uh, it, uh, I would like to begin fr from uh, Nobel winner, 1923, uh, who considered uh, two series as a, a expansion of a Brownian motion. And of course, uh, he was uh, 10 years or, or more before Paul Mogorov uh, got to the, the uh, measure theoretical foundation of probability. So, so, so his work was uh, uh, extremely heuristic and uh, uh, actually, in, uh, a paper in some engineering journals which uh, ceased to exist and I was not able to, to, to find that paper and one time I was interested to, to see what uh, what was the roots, where, how he came to the, those two things without really uh, not much known inequalities, uh, you know, levy inequality did not exist and how he could prove the uh, uniform uh, convergence of those series to prove that they, they are Wiener process has continuous sample path. And then is uh, another heuristic idea, so Paul uh, Levy, and uh, he was uh, pr proposing to use wavelets to define the, uh, or to, to develop the uh, Wiener process. And, uh, uh, and then uh, was this followed by Krzyzewski who uh, actually, it was not a work uh, uh, of that work of Levy. He was uh, uh, writing this paper, uh, Cornell, working under direction of Mark Katz. And uh, he just says that uh, uh, this is a nice formula for Wiener process. And uh, so we say the levy chisielski construction or something like that. Now <coughs> it comes Ito. And uh, uh, because uh, each of those three series can be viewed as Fourier series expansion of Brownian motion in orthogonal, orthonormal basis of the Cameron Martin space H. And, uh, uh, and it was proven that uh, these uh, three series converge uniformly. Uh, so the question was what uh, is it true that if we take a uh, and a Fourier series expansion of Brownian motion uh, in orthonormal basis of H if such a Fourier series converges almost surely. This is equivalent to asking if, uh, well, uh, another thing is enough to prove convergence of one theorem, one series to get uh, the convergence of all. And uh, this was a volume uh, devoted to Ito and Ikeda uh, Taniguchi uh, uh, wrote that uh, uh, this was uh, the original interest uh, uh, in that question that inspired Ito to establish a much more general theorem in the joint paper with Makiko Nishio. 
Okay, so this is the root of, of that uh, theorem. And the uh, theorem says that uh, if it has a version of theorem uh, equivalent to original, that if f is a separable Banach space of functions uh, from some set p into r, such that the evaluations are continuous, yeah, and we take an, a, a sequence of independent symmetric stochastic processes over uh, set p, which pass in uh, this function space f, such that for each p, the partial sums of, of those processes evaluated at, at point p converge to, to s of p for some stochastic process which pass in f, then uh, from this one dimensional result, you get infinite dimensional result. So there is this very uh, special uh, property and there's not much uh, in probability, it was, it's one dimensional, we usually need to prove some tightness and so on, this is to go to uh, multi-dimensional case. So from uh, this uh, uh, theorem, theorem uh, it follows the positive uh, answer to the question uh, Ito was looking to uh, in, uh, answer. And, uh, uh, okay, this is very, non-stable. Uh, so uh, roughly speaking, the Ito initial theorem says that uh, the point-wise convergence of series implies uh, the non-convergence, but provided there is a right limit, because we know the, we know the limit and it's, it's nice, right limit. Uh, now I, I, uh, I will be talking about uh, uh, Levy processes and, uh, and, and series, strong uh, convergence pathwise of, of series uh, expansions of Levy processes. So first I would like to give some example of, of uh, such series. So here uh, we've been talking about the uh, stable, so I, I want to uh, do the example for temperate stable. So uh, to consider a positive temperate alpha stable random variable y, without drift, so alpha is in zero one, and it's Levy measure by definition has density, uh, the density of Levy measure on positive real line, r to negative alpha minus one, q of r, where q is completely monotone function, uh, which at uh, limit at zero is one, and at infinity is zero, so it's calibrated this way. And uh, <coughs> so, for take the, the easiest case of, of Q, just E to negative R, exponential function for concreteness. And uh, now take a, a random variable, normal random variable, mean zero and, and uh, variance square root of two, independent of V, uh, where in this V, we have tempering uh, of chance by E to negative R, but alpha is changed to alpha over two. And we ask about what is the distribution of square root of y time, times z. So uh, everyone knows that if we take a y alpha stable, positive alpha half stable, take the square root times z, we get symmetric alpha stable. So, so, <coughs> uh, so this is everywhere, and, and so the question is, what if we change alpha stable to temperate, uh, alpha half stable to, to alpha half temperate stable? So the answer is that the, the distribution of that is uh, uh, relativistic alpha stable. And so that's, uh, therefore, a relativistic alpha stable has this uh, Gaussian uh, randomization and uh, this, uh, people call it type G. Okay, so let's uh, look at series uh, developments of uh, uh, Levy processes. And now we go over to RD and we'll be looking for simplicity uh, into uh, isotopic uh, Levy processes, uh, temporal alpha stable. So, uh, of this uh, this form, that uh, special form, that 
measure, uh, levy measure is given in polar coordinates where R is uh, greater than zero and U is on the unit sphere. Uh, so the, the, the radial measure is R to negative alpha minus one tempered by E to negative R. And, and sigma is just uniform measure, uh, the finite uniform measure. And uh, <coughs> uh, on the sphere. And then if we have such a symmetric uh, rotation invariant uh, uh, Levy process, then uh, it can be uh, written as a series and almost surely. And, and the series is, is, uh, is uh, interesting because this, this gives a way to see how uh, the tempering in probabilistic way are happening here not analytic, but just, just probabilistic. <coughs> uh, well, so uh, what happens if we are observing, T is the time horizon when we are observing this process. And what happens if, if T is small? So we are looking at this process in very short time, then we take the magnifying glass and, and, and looking what is happening. So uh, we'll see, uh, so here is a, uh, in this representation is the uh, struggle of two forces. One is the, the jumps, which are this, uh, uh, well, okay, I did not explain what is gamma. Uh, so, uh, okay, it was not before, okay. So, so, so the uh, norm of sigma is just, just the mass of measures uh, sigma. Dj are uh, IID uniform random variables taking values on the sphere. Ej are uh, IID exponential random variable with uh, parameter one. Uh, Wj are ID uniform on zero one. And Uj uh, IID uniform on zero t. And gamma j are uh, partial uh, sums of exponential random variables with uh, parameter one. So this uh, gamma j's are dependent, they're just partial sums of exponential. But all variables are independent. So, so such series very easy to gen uh, trivially to generate because you just generate several well-known uh, random variables and uh, and then uh, uh, in this uh, series, we have those two, two ingredients. One is uh, the sequence, which is uh, uh, here uh, IID sequence. So if we look at the sums, if I would erase this part, cover this part and, and look at the uh, sums, so I would expect that I will see some Gaussian behavior because the, that central limit theorem, you have the sums of IID random variables. But if uh, I will cover this part, I will see stable process. So the fight between the stable tendency and Gaussian tendency here. And uh, so what happens, who, which one is winning? Uh, if, if, if T is, uh, uh, small, so I'm looking at this process at short distance, and if t is small, then then the, this ratio is large, and uh, and this makes it uh, small. So therefore, for t small, capital T small, horizon small, uh, that 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 term becomes small and is winning against this one. And so what I see in the small time is just only those stable process jumps. If uh, I'm going away from this process, I, I don't see this part, I, I, I see something which uh, uh, is asymptotically normal. And actually, the, I see Brownian motion. In the limit, if I move to the distance, I, so one process which you take the, 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 the magnifying glass, you see Brownian motion go, uh, I mean, stable, go away, you see Brownian motion. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, so this may look, uh, uh, so, so this is the way to produce the, the tempering, the jumps, probabilistically way, the, this is analytic way. And uh, 
and the series uh, in general looks like the series and is some function gamma of gamma j's which were partial sums of exponentials and then is some multidimensional but iid sequence so uh, that's such uh, uh, that can be written this way and uh, and this is the form of any that symmetric levy process and for general levy processes you need to take the centering in the series and and a drift okay so now uh, it initial theorem so several relevant to probability banner spaces of course c01 uh, the score of hot space but we want to look at this as uh, under uh, not score hot topology but uh, but the uniform, very strong topology of uniform convergence. Uh, and under this uh, is not separable. Uh, of course, L infinity, the space of uh, sequences, is also non separable. Uh, now uh, let's uh, look at the space of bounded, bounded by uh, P variations. So P is in uh, greater or equal to 1. And uh, we def take a function uh, which is a Cadillac function and a partition and define this uh, uh, p variation uh, norm of corresponding to partition. And uh, they then take the supremum and the by the zero, and that gives us the norm of in uh, space of uh, bounded p variations. Uh, or finite p variations and uh, uh, so this is the space and uh, this this space is also non separable banner space and of course of interest to probabilists and uh, next one is the holder space uh, so h alpha alpha is space of holder continuous function on zero one with the norm uh, of uh, the norm is just just uh, absolute value of f0 and and then is uh, the, the usual thing uh, h alpha is also non separable banner space uh, however if we look at in h alpha only uh, functions which uh, uh, have this property that as partition if the distance between times goes to zero then the, the ratio goes to zero then, then that will be the separable and closed subspace, uh, subspace of the uh, uh, holder space. And uh, here is actually old but very beautiful work of uh, uh, Professor Cieszewski uh, uh, from Poland, who showed that uh, uh, that H alpha is uh, isomorphic to uh, L infinity, the space of, of sequences and uh, bounded sequences and that it doesn't matter what is alpha for every alpha that they, they are like like L infinity I found it very uh, <laughs> surprising and what about this one this is no, no, no matter what alpha is this is isomorphic to, to C0 small C0 space sequences going to zero okay so <coughs> uh, how important is separability of the space in the original Eton issue theorem and uh, uh, so that is a very trivial example that if we have uh, f is an infinity of sequences and we take a, a xi as a random sign plus minus one on the uh, i coordinates left is zero S is just the, the sequence of random signs. So this is the random element in the L infinity. And, uh, but, and also if we evaluate at any uh, coordinate, then we get uh, the result, this random sign on, the, the, on that coordinate. And this is the same as, as ST. So trivially, trivially, the convergence for every T holds. But if we want to pass to the norm, we have always the distance one. So 
So this definitely is, is is that we see that the, the Eton initial theorem does not extend to to L infinity, and and actually it does not extend to many uh, uh, non-separable spaces. So this thing is to 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 find the, those who are nice for us, or just work around that. So F uh, definition. Uh, is, now, how we want to, how we are looking for extension of Eton initial theorem. So now F, let be just general banner space of functions from T to R, such that the evolution, evaluations, uh, delta T of F, if F of T are continuous functions. And suppose continuous functionals. Suppose that the, uh, uh, the lean span of uh, the functionals, evolution functionals, uh, contains a countable set uh, C uh, such that for every uh, function f from our space f, the norm of f is the supremum of, of C of f or C uh, belonging to uh, capital C. So, so that uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, capital C is called a countable norm, uh, uh, norming set. Norming set. And uh, we need this, no, we need this, uh, uh, this set because uh, uh, for uh, random variables to, to be measurable, we have to have a norm which is measurable, cylindrically measurable. Okay. So now we say the Eton initial theorem holds in that space if the following is true. If, if uh, the, for every sequence x n of independent symmetric processes over t, with path in F uh, such that for every evaluation T, we have the convergence to some random elements S with path in F. Uh, that implies that, that the series converges in the norm of space F. So it's natural definition. And uh, the uh, theorem, so here is Andreas, here is uh, Basset, there is uh, uh, O and apostrophe uh, Conroy. So, a book. And here's uh, 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 Jorgen Hoffman Jorgensen. And that's me. So, <laughs> uh, so let's uh, suppose we have a function uh, uh, space, banner space F and this uh, norming, uh, countable norming uh, set of functionals as a bath, and assume that at least one of the following con two conditions holds. C1 is that for every sequence of those functionals in a norming uh, uh, set, there exists a subsequence, N sub k, so that the, the limit of those functionals, which are those, those functionals are are just linear combinations of, of evaluations, uh, that the limit exists uh, in R for every uh, fu uh, function f from the space f. So that's the condition C1, that, we, that uh, the space has this property. Condition C2, that f does not have any subspace uh, that is, okay, this is time, isomorphic to uh, uh, C0, to the space of uh, sequences going to zero. And if one of those two conditions is called C1 or C2, then the Eton initial, uh, initial theorem holds for space F. Okay, so that is enough for us to determine uh, several spaces. And so, which uh, and decide whether they are, uh, we can use the theorem or it's not true. So, uh, of course, C zero one or this uh, the subspace of holder continuous functions uh, that separable uh, path it initial holds because those are special separable spaces. Now, in D zero one, it also holds because the. Uh, uh, the, for D01, when we take the set of uh, functionals, I should set, uh, put here also plus minus, uh, where T0 is dense subset of uh, 
zero uh, one containing one, then then uh, this set will be our uh, set sigma. And it's really true because easy to see because if you have a, a sequence of evaluations and and then, then the, you take a function and it's a left continuous or right continuous and you take the subsequence and so that uh, can be checked. Now, uh, sp space of bounded variations, uh, the Eton initial theorem holds because it does not contain C0 subspace. Now, uh, uh, the space the, the Eton initial doesn't hold in L infinity all space of all bounded variations with functions with p greater than one, and does not hold for H alpha, the Holler space, for any, for any alpha between zero and one. Okay, so now uh, the series expansions of Levy process. So we can, we can write uh, always this kind of series, which have very long story, and uh, and then it's always uh, not difficult to, to, to show that this series converges for every P point-wise. Uh, difficulty is uh, to, to show the uniform convergence. And uh, so uh, the first one was uh, uh, Kallenberg in 1974, who wrote a paper on Eton initial theorem for uh, uh, for D01, and his theorem was that if a sequence converges in uh, uh, score hot topology, and uh, there are, in the limit there are no points of the constant, uh, the non-random discontinuity, then the series must converge almost surely uniformly. However, this is not the, 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 the uh, sense of Etonisha. Etonisha must be just one dimensional, implies uh, infinite dimensional, and, and to show that something converges in scholar hot topology is, is not an easy work. You have to do the tightness, almost the same work as for uniform. And uh, so, And uh, another is a method to, to prove it uh, uh, is also by, by theorem by Riznar and Bichkowski. Uh, they have a condition on small ball uh, property and that uh, actually for symmetric Levy processes uh, it's, is true. So that, that, that can be also used to show uniform, uh, uniform convergence. Uh, where I am now. <laughs> okay. So, so now, so we have the series, and uh, and then uh, this is series of dependent random variables between with gamma j's uh, or gamma k's are dependent, but if uh, but uh, all the sequences are independent of each other, so we can fix the realization of gammas, and then we have a series of independent. Uh, it's not symmetric, but this is technical issue to, to resolve. And, uh, and then the initial theorem can be used for that conditionally. And you show that converted is conditionally, and that what is enough. So conditional sequence uh, on gamma k, this series is uh, independent processes in D01, and the initial theorem on D01 uh, we know this true, so it, it shows that the series converges almost surely uh, uh, uniformly on zero one from just computation one one dimensions. Then, uh, uh, but we can do much better than uniform convergence. So suppose that uh, the, uh, we are in this uh, d dimension, we are in the d d dimensional situation, and we have this Levy measure of our Levy process at uh, one, and then uh, we take the Q norm of, uh, uh, well, the Q in integral of uh, around uh, uh, zero. And for uh, suppose this is finite for some Q less than two. 
then the, that series, which is here, converges and converges in uh, the normal bounded variation Q. Uh, and, but uh, this is contradicting what I have said because uh, uh, we know that eta initio theorem is not true in the bounded variation case when Q is bigger than one. So, so what we found, we found this uh, uh, winner class. The winner class is the subspace of uh, bounded variations that you get uh, if you take the, the bounded variation uh, evaluation, for the, uh, the norms are corresponding to partition pi, and, uh, and then you go with the, uh, uh, the, the normal partition to zero, uh, then, then you, you will get uh, the series of jumps raised to power q. And uh, our Levy processes have this property. So now this space is still infinite-dimensional and is a really tough work to show that uh, one of those C1 or C2 condition holds. And it, 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 uh, it holds for C1, that, uh, that is uh, uh, the unit ball in the dual to this space is sequentially uh, weak star compact and, and that, that uh, but it's not far from obvious. And, but this works and so, so, so we justify this, uh, the convergence and, uh, and we have inclusion that winner space is between, uh, between those bounded variation spaces. Thank you. Now, Ito map. So consider a ordinary differential equation. And uh, so here is the function f, which is a, a function from a Rm into the space of matrices with uh, uh, m rows and d columns. And suppose that function is Lipschitz continuous such that uh, the derivative is holder continuous of order alpha. And uh, uh, f, is a, a Cadillac function of finite p variation and with p less than two and addition condition is involving the, this uh, uh, order alpha. So p is less than one plus alpha for uh, well, this repetition. And then uh, uh, under these conditions uh, for uh, all x zero in Rm, uh, the differential equation to, oh, by the way, th this integral is just defined, uh, you know, in the, some better way of doing uh, uh, the Riemann integration. Uh, or a final, okay, so it's explained here. So under those conditions, the, this differential equation has a unique solution G, and the integral is defined as by the refinement of riemann stilche sense, and the unique solution, uh, uh, belongs also to the space of bounded, uh, the, 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 the uh, uh, bounded p variations, and uh, <coughs> and so uh, uh, so this map that I take f here input to the output is called the Ito map. Now. Uh, <coughs> Uh, this map actually appears to be uh, continuous from the space of bounded p variation to space of bounded p variation under those uh, some conditions. And uh, this is work of Dudley and, and Norvaisha, who work with those uh, uh, integrals and so on. So now, but now we can, we can uh, knowing that, that those uh, Levy processes will uh, have uh, the partial sums of the series converge uh, in space of uh, bounded p variation, we can now substitute for f, we can substitute the, those x's. So, and uh, uh, so we can, we can uh, have here the for x process and then we have uh, the, the output will be uh, say y process. But, but now we can look at uh, 
approximations of x by those xn and the, the convergence holds in the space of uh, bounded uh, Q variations. And so, so what kind of uh, uh, this approximation is? Uh, the, with respect to time, this is very uh, obvious uh, 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 trajectory. So if you fix omega, and, and so this is a fixed uh, uh, vector here, and you multiply by a function, which uh, is, uh, you have sometimes u, uk, and uh, for t, which are bigger than uk, you get this value h, and on fixed gammas, and, uh, and uh, this uh, decay, and so what, what uh, uh, you are plugging into, into the uh, system, or into your uh, equation here, you are plugging something extremely trivial. The, uh, you are plugging a function which looks like that, and, uh, I, and I, I'm missing this one. So this is discontinuous polygonal line. You have only straight lines and, and you add them, that will be similar case. And so it's trivial to solve that equation uh, explicitly. And then we know that uh, n goes to infinity, everything goes to, to you substitute here the Levin process. <coughs> So, uh, so, so that what uh, I was saying. Now we can use the partial sum uh, x n of x and uh, uh, for uh, f and uh, e to math, and we get we get this. Above, uh, uh, under the above uh, notation, suppose that uh, we have the cube norm of a Levy measure in the neighborhood of uh, zero, finite for some q less than one. Two. Then for all p uh, in this uh, region, we have that the, the Ito map is uh, uh, continuous the, in the p variation uh, norm with probability one. That the solution with probability one converge to, uh, <coughs> to the solution with respect to x. So which we can define x by, by the limit also. So remark, uh, the Ito map, also known as the solution map, uh, that maps the uh, process uh, x to the solution of the stochastic differential equation driven by x, is notorious for not being continuous with respect to the sub-norm. So we have to go from even D01 with no, the uniform norm is not good for that purpose. Uh, in dimensions strictly greater than one. And we had the dimension D. This observation lies in the heart of the rough path theory. Because in the rough path theory, they, 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 that is the, 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 the basic, the, the biggest theorem is to prove uh, under their constructions that the Ito map is continuous. That's the main theorem of, of the theory. And, uh, uh, and for the simple example of this discontinuity, of Ito map in the con uh, context of C infinity uh, uh, function. See this, this uh, paper by Fries and, and here have uh, coordinates. So we took the different approach to, to this instead of following uh, this continuous uh, rough path, which has just been created, I think, this year uh, for these continuous processes. We just, 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 just look at uh, you know, for very strong approximations, and, and this uh, Ito initio in non separable space occurred to be useful. And Victor, you exactly on time. Thank you very much. Thank Yes, yes, yes. So, so in the uh, space, separable space, uh, this uh, the norm will be 
uh, compact matter is a ball salt, so therefore you can you can choose always the sub, uh, converging subsequence. Yes, Yes, so, so this is everything is hidden in T, because if you take T as a subset of, of a dual space, mm -hmm. so, so then, then you can look at your, your Banner space as a space of functions on, on and, and, and the other. Yes. So this is like uh, hidden here in the general Yes, yes, but for probabilities that would be just... I don't know. No, 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 no. no. This is possible because because this this uh, Levi Ito uh, uses uh, a series. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah the Levi Ito in uh, bad space, bad spaces. Uh, yeah, uh, not bad because they have very strong norms. Well, Lipschitz will not, uh, only Lipschitz will not help me much because uh, uh, Lipschitz are like, like, uh, like an infinity. And they, so I will have to go to separable subspace. So, but, but the whole thing we borrow from Dudley and uh, my, my Weisser book. Okay, next question. Thank you. Yeah.